Hi, I'm Ted Field. And I'm Claire Aslax, and welcome to The Vini Code. The Vini Code, simply put, is what's in the bottle. It's just a simple description that lets you know about that wine you're about to buy. Uh, wine can be very confusing. It's probably the most variable food item out there. It can change not just from label to label and grape to grape, but year to year. So the prediction of, of if you're going to get home and like that bottle is almost impossible. Um, it's almost as if you could imagine yourself taking a test sip of that wine before you buy it. It, it gives you that kind of information and, and that a little bit more predictability and can make you a more confident buyer. Now I have to tell you the, the Vini Code is not a rating system. We leave that up to you. We provide you with the information and then let you make the decision. We invented the Vini Code because how many times have you gone to the food store, gone down the wine aisle, and then just stood there? You feel like a zombie, and then all of a sudden you turn around and guess what? There's a whole lot of other zombies hanging out in the same wine aisle. What are we doing? We're staring at a bunch of wine bottles, hoping that maybe a label will get our attention, or maybe uh, the wine merchant put a really great 98 tag hanging off one of the bottles. So we grab that one, we bring it home. It's 98. Guess what? We're not crazy about it. We've just spent a lot of money for a bottle of wine with a high rating on it. That's why we invented the Vini Code. The Vini Code tells you exactly the flavors, the description of what's in the bottle. The Vini Code consists of six color-coded scales ranging from one to nine. Each of these scales represents a different flavor component of the wine. This is called the wine's style. Let's look at each one separately. The first scale on the Vini Code is dry to sweet, and sweetness is one of the easiest flavors to pick out in a wine. The more sugar in a wine, the more sweet it will be. Your most acute taste buds for sweetness are on the tip of your tongue. In wine language, the opposite of sweet is dry, so a wine with little sugar is considered dry. On this scale, a sweet wine will have a high number, while the drier the wine, the lower the number will be. Like sugar, wines have varying amounts of acidity. You sense it on the sides of your tongue as a tart bite. Those wines low in acid, or round wines, are described as rich, smooth, and luxurious. You might wonder why on earth anyone would want an acidic wine. The beauty of acidity is that it is mouth-watering and it cleanses your palate. Most of the world's great food wines are quite acidic, so round or acidic. Sometimes it just boils down to your mood. With the Vini Code, now the choice is yours. Many wines are left to age in oak barrels. The time spent in the barrel, the type of oak, usually American or French, and the age of the barrel all affect the perception of oakiness in the wine. When wine is oaked, it can have a variety of flavors. Flavors of vanilla, toast, burnt wood, caramel, smoke. This scale lets you know just how much oak influence is in the bottle. Most people have a love-hate relationship with oakiness in a wine. So if you love the effects of oak, look for a higher number on the Vini Code. One of the real joys in learning about wine is discovering all of those incredible fruit smells and tastes. Believe it or not, a wine can taste tropical, like pineapples and peaches, or like wild berries or citrus fruit. The range is extraordinary. This scale tells you about that fruitiness. Let's look at two examples, a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc and a French Sancerre. Made from the same grape, both classics of their style, but dramatically different. The New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc is a fruit bomb. The flavors overwhelm your senses. The Sancerre, on the other hand, is much more subtle. The Vini Code depicts this difference graphically. The flavor of a wine is influenced by the soil on which the grape is grown. Earth flavors include the taste and smells of spices, herbs, soil, chocolate, leather, flint, chalk, and even mushrooms, and can add a wonderful complexity to the wine. The earthier the wine, the higher the number. Wine has a weight called the body. Think of the feeling of skim milk versus cream in your mouth. Skim milk is light, almost watery. Cream is heavy, giving your mouth a sense of feeling full. In wine, body is related to the alcohol content. Lighter wines are perfect for a summer afternoon. In winter, we tend to gravitate toward heavier wines, those big reds and whites that warm us up all the way down. This quality is the most important factor in pairing wine with food. The weight of the wine should match the weight of the dish. With the Vini Code, you can now select the best match for your meal. 
In the end, the Vini Code is all about you. It's just a simple description of what's in the bottle. And the Vini Code helps you with your wine and food pairing. So the next time you're at your local wine store, look for the Vini Code and buy your wine first. Here's to the Vini Code. And knowing what's in your glass.